What's up everyone? Welcome to day two, week four of the pull-up program. Here we start our warm-up off with 45 seconds of the lat voyager, but we're gonna make it a little bit more difficult. We are going to do it on the rings, right? So for 45 seconds, we're gonna hold that contraction on the rings. We'll go over what that looks like in a second. Then we end our warm-up with the psoas raises, one minute per leg into the pendulum swing for one minute on that as well. Again, on the pendulum swing, we want to challenge ourselves and pause at each side for about two to three seconds, all right? So let's go ahead and head over to the rings and see what that lat voyager looks like again. So we grab our rings, all right? Start off standing tall, pull yourself to the top, you're gonna hold this, driving your elbows back for 45 seconds. And then you're gonna come up, relax, go into the second minute, all the way until you hit five. Again, you can challenge yourself, try to go a little lower, and work the lats a little bit more. Once we finish our warm up, we're gonna go into three rounds of 10 knee or leg raises into 30 shoulder taps, all right? With these knee and leg raises, we really want to focus on using our lower abs to do this. So we're not just lifting our knees, but we're also tucking our hips at the top. So it's gonna look a little something like this, right? So for the knee raises, we bring them up, tuck our hips, keeping that hollow hold, tucking our hips at the top, and then same thing for those leg raises, all right? The goal here is to feel our lower abs working. So if we have trouble with that, I would definitely start with the knee raises and move nice and slow. So pull them up nice and slow, go down nice and slow. Always try to maintain that hollow hold position. Once we're done with those 10 reps, we're gonna go into 30 shoulder taps. Typically, these are done at a super fast pace, but I want us to go nice and slow with the focus of our hips not shifting. So focus on keeping your hips nice and still. So we're gonna go into the plank position, 30 reps. One, two, three, four, 29, 30, boom. So the goal is to move that slow, keeping those hips nice and still. Feet grounded into the floor. Hands move slowly, breathing nice and controlled. We want to feel our core activated like when we do those mountain climbers, okay? Once we're done with those three rounds, we're gonna go into three rounds, 45 seconds of max chest passes. I'll show you what that looks like. Into 45 seconds of max pull-up attempt, right? So. We'll go over that in a second. But first, chest passes. So you're gonna grab a med ball and uh, part of the wall, obviously. Uh, the first version, version I'm gonna show you is just straight on. We're gonna toss the ball at the wall, grab it, and just keep moving nice and fast. So I'm gonna hold it in front of my chest, kind of sink my hips a little bit, get a nice grounded stance. Toss it. And just keep going for 45 seconds. All right, we're gonna feel our chest and we're gonna feel our core and triceps start to burn. That's what we want. If you wanna make it more difficult, have more power, right? Move further back, right? We have to push that ball harder in order for it to come back. Another way to make it harder is to add some rotational work. So you're gonna to rotate to one side, press it into the wall. So, when we do the rotation, we start to bring in more obliques and work one side of our chest at a time, okay? So that's the 45 seconds of chest, pull, uh, chest passes. Then we go into 45 seconds of max pull-up attempts. So what this means is we're gonna hop up to a pull-up bar. And for 45 seconds, we are going to try and do as many pull-ups as we can or do as many pull-ups as we can if we can do strict pull-ups. So, if we can do strict pull-ups, do them, but if we can't, you're just going to pull 
as high as you can for 45 seconds, right? Even if it's just scat pull-ups with a little elbow bend, that's totally fine. It's the attempt that matters, all right? Then once those three rounds are done, we're going to end, of course, with a max bar hang, all right? And here, I want us to go for at least three sets. Three sets, max bar hang. Cool? Let me know if you have questions. Have fun with it.